nation watching. What a way to launch CFE Season 150. And it'll be a touchback. So here he comes with the heart no doubt pounding because the only experience Sharon Williams had last year was against Savannah State. Now he comes from Lawrenceville, Georgia, outside of Atlanta. Won the job because he can extend plays. He's a good athlete. He's gone to work in his body. He's leaned down, trained his mechanics, Kirk, but he's never faced anything like this Gator defense. Other field. Ball coming out quick here. Gators rush for it, does come out quickly, and it's complete to the tight end, Brevin Jordan. And he's got space and a crease and a first down across the 45. They really used our tight ends well in this offense. Williams, another quick throw. Osborne gets a block on the edge. And now gets to the sideline and will be inside the Florida 40 with a first down. Got a block from Harley on the yeah. edge. Gables. It's another play action on first down. They'll flip it short, and they've got Jordan the tight end. And he's got some space. Huge chunk plays for this Hurricane offense on the opening drive. Play action. Williams slipped as he sets up, and he will be dropped behind the line. Ventrell Miller from the linebacker position, but the loss of traction messed up the rhythm. They want to come away with some points. Back to a very reliable miss just once inside 40 yards last year, and he slides it inside the right upright. Gaines rush four against the empty backfield, and Franks has time, tries to scramble. Now backpedals, eludes Garvin, but he just got a hand on the quarterback shoe and stops him short of the marker to make that play. Tommy Townsend takes off on the fake. Can he get there? Yes, and the punter makes a huge early gamble by Dan Mullen pay off. He did that last year. How about the speed? Tony gets a block, and he's a blazer. A dynamic guy. They'll use him all different roles. He's still going. Canarius Tony. They won't catch him. Touchdown, Gators. But watch the linebacker play on the play action fake get out of position right there. Now it opens it up. Now you can get downfield. The other thing that's disturbing week one, one missed tackle, two missed tackles, three missed tackles against a back like Tony. He's going to make you pay for that. So overly aggressive. Then the safety's downfield, not wrapping up. Play action on second and six. Immediately pressure Williams. Escapes and he'll be sacked for the second time down near the 15. Adam Schuler and John Grenard, the transfer from Louisville, got there. Up very deep. He's got it on the toss. Bobbled it initially, and the Canes penetrate. Flying in there was Gilbert Frierson, the striker position. Frierson's known more for his coverage skills, a former corner. And you, should, you could see his quickness and how he's able to get by Lucas Kroll and get into that backfield. Franks just gets it off. Haynes bring the pressure. Franks escapes and will take off. And that's 240 pounds headed downhill. It's inside the 30 to set up third and reasonable. First and goal. And a fumble exchange. Franks and Pirine were confused about who was going to keep it. The Canes say they have it. And coming out with it is Scott Patchen. Get out the turnover chain for the first time as the Gators spoil what was a promising drive. And the exchange to Reed. You want it? Am I going to keep it? They don't know until the read. Piran tries to take it. The quarterback, Franks, is trying to take it. Miscommunicate. Balls on the ground. Patchen ends up coming up with it. There's a, another explosive hit there by a Miami defender. Turnovers all last year, but the Canes with the chain out get the football back. Had it ahead of time. Davis bobbles the snap. It's on the ground. They're fighting for it. It's a scrum still loose out near midfield. And I think the Gators got it back. Nick Buchanan. Looked like it was the best. Oh, they gave it to Miami. Wait. I was with you. The top, the big center Buchanan was right there. He, he must have let Quarterman the Miami Russell. defense rip it away from him. Let's take See, a look the at the bottom execution of the pile isn't here. the best. And he never had his, a handle on the ball. And you'll see... The big center 66 looks like he has it. He's down, but look, they no, no, never quite had the ball. And the chain comes out again, and that's Quarterman making his 40th start. That was a scrum where it looked like Buchanan had the ball in his belly. Their gift. And now it's DJ Dallas in Wildcat formation. Takes 
takes off, breaks a tackle, and busts it in inside the 30. And it's the Canes' chance to reclaim momentum. Yeah. Cameron Harris is the back. But Williams is going straight back. I mean, flips it in the flat. And this is Harris. He's a physical back running over Ventrell Miller. Only gained a few yards, but that excites the Canes crowd. Because of this effort, you're, you're, you're struggling right now just to compete and battle, and one of your backs goes right through a linebacker. And he knocks it right through again, so my... Quick throw to the edge. Thomas gets a block and shows some acceleration. He is very dangerous in the open field. The man who made 35 catches in his junior year. Backward pass, and... Now they fake it to Harris. Williams is swarmed and knocked down behind the line for the third time. Trey Dean got there, and then Grenard cleaned it up. Yeah. They just ran the ball, this time a play action, and Williams steps up and throws over the middle, and a first down to Thomas, who went down low, and that was a confident strike from the young quarterback. After sacks, he steps right into the teeth of that pocket and goes over top of Houston, the linebacker, to find that window. You know it's coming. That crossing route at about 15 to 18 yards. Williams backpedaling, flushed again, holds the ball too long, and Ben Trill Miller makes him pay. Knocked down back at the Miami 45. Well, linebacker in the SEC for the Gators. Gators rush forward to screen. Dallas goes up and makes a one-handed catch and now takes off. DJ Dallas busting into the clear. And knocked out at the 4 to 15. An explosive play that puts the Canes in position. Go to halftime up. Dallas is the back. Williams tried to draw the Gators offside. Here's the target, Jordan, the tight end. Gators bring the pressure. Williams has time. Ball batted at the line and then caught. And Jordan bounces into the end zone for a go-ahead touchdown. Ring there. That's the offense's version of the turnover chase. If you told me that this Miami offense was going to drive 90 yards in this Florida defense tonight, I would have said no. no. See, Franks has been pretty sharp tonight. He's rolling to his right. Here comes the pressure, and they've got him. They've got him at the 40, and no timeout, so the clock is just going to run out. And Miami's defense makes a play to secure the halftime lead. Gaines with a blitz. It's picked up, and Franks loops will throw on the sideline. Easy pitch and catch for a first down. He's six after the timeout. And Pirine spinning in traffic is going to be knocked down for a short loss. That time he could not escape Jonathan Ford. But you could see athletic as well. Oh, yeah. So after the loss, they try to get Tony on the end around. And the Canes swarm him, string him out, and drop him for a big loss. Back at the 44, Romeo Finley. The speedy striker. Tremendous speed. And when he gets outside, you got to be a wor worried about him. Look at Bandy out here. Now he cuts back, and you got a linebacker right here. So good spacing, good team pursuit by 11 defenders by the Canes. Just great discipline there. And Franks fires short, incomplete. Never had a chance. Tried to get the ball to Jefferson. High receiver look. Franks has a lot of time trying to direct traffic downfield, and he delivers a strike to Grimes. And they'll move the sticks. What a miss on a crucial play. Now from the pocket, Franks across the middle. Has a man wide open, and the catch is made by Kyle Pitts, the tight end. And the non-call proving huge. But they get it off. Franks, doesn't matter. He's going to be swarmed right at the line of scrimmage. And Miami's defense rises up when their backs are against the goal line. This is from 27 yards to cut the Hurricanes lead to three. So Miami players back out wary of a Dan Mullen fake down there. Not too sure. One. Dallas in the slot. Williams looked that way. Backpedaling again. And young fella just get down and throw it away. He takes another hit. That was James Houston. Boy, the Gators just keep rotating point seven players. In 23. You got to remember that. And even though he's able to keep this play alive initially, you know, either get rid of the ball or get down or throw it away. But he cannot continue to scramble around. And very easily that helmet gets put on that football it's on the ground and the Gators have great field position as in the defense giving them up Franks on first down step up and deliver one of those intermediate throws yard line and Townsend's had a good night and this is a boomer and Thomas muffs it and the Gators recover
A game-changing special teams gaffe by the veteran receiver and Van Jefferson, the Gators veteran receiver, flies down and pounces on it. Wow, wow, wow. Advantage of a miscue. Instead, it's been the Canes taking advantage. This time, the Canes have the miscue. And how about the receivers of Florida? They're on all the special teams. These guys are seniors. They want to be involved. You see Cleveland is right there. This time, Van Jefferson right on the spot. And the Gators have great field position. And yeah, you're right. The Canes defense tested once again on third down. Franks across the middle. Piran catches it and scores. The Gators go back in front as they cash in the turnover. Wildcat look. And he takes off up the middle. And Dallas, the running back, still going. Look at the strength. DJ Dallas to the secondary down the sidelines and to the end zone. Miami reclaims the lead. 50 yards. Some pressure. Rush for Franks. It's it over the middle and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amari Carter and the Cane safety still running and fighting down inside the 25 as the Gator offense presses and makes a mistake and the Hurricanes are in position to build on this lead. These two teams feel right now the ball's if the ball's delivered it's there. And he has a chance, but it goes over the hands of Freddie Swain. And there's the safety, Amari Carter, who's able to make the play. Williams fires, end zone, diving catch, incomplete. Broke it up, Henderson was covering Thomas, two elite athletes. That's and a great, down. That's a great matchup. Here's Bubba Baxa again. And they get nothing out of his possession as he pushes it right. They take it to P. Ryan. Franks looking for a downfield shot. Hammond got it. Josh Hammond dragged down inside the 20. Finally, the Gators hit a deep ball. They get the inside here, moves to the end, and goes by him. He's got room to work because of how far they spread him out. And he goes right by Frierson, who's had a big night tonight as a nickelback, but he gets beat right at the line of scrimmage. Hammond showing you some speed. Three receivers to the left. Franks keeping it. Barrels in. Touchdown. Florida back on top. ADR drive in four plays. The electric strike. This is the part of his game that last year we started to see. They had to account for him running the ball. We fake it to Dallas. And now it's Williams who's looking to take a downfield shot. Instead throws it across the middle. And the catch is made by K.J. Osborne. The Williams is going straight back. Steps up. Still surveys the field. Has a man wide open. And that's Brevin Jordan, the tight end. How do you lose him? First down near the 30. Two defenders on him. One of the defining plays of the game. And the young quarterback pressured. Flag down. Quarterback down. And the Gators make a stand. The seventh sack tonight Marlon Dunlap got there left watch him go around the true freshman Nelson forces him up and then that's when the inside of the Florida defense is able to kind of clean it up looks like Dunlop's in there and that play really didn't have a chance and now the Gators four and a half to bleed out up by four and Franks is thinking about throwing on first down and it's a pick a disastrous play Romeo Finley gets the football back and the Canes are suddenly in business at the 25 can you believe it are they throwing the ball for and they pull timeouts look at the pressure good job of getting after him and throws it right in the traffic across the middle at 15 pressure again sacked again relentless Gator pass for Zuniga got him again it has been a monster mismatch up front. And 34, Miami needs a miracle. Gators rush four. Williams steps up and delivers, and Thomas is wrestled to the ground. Pass interference at the 35-yard line. Can you believe it? Wilson oh. just wrestled him down. It'll be an automatic first down. The last thing you can do 
pass interference. Is not defense, number 31. have pass interference called on you. Penalty. Underthrown Automatic. ball. First I don't know if he did. Bobble. Williams spun around and just fires into the ground. And that should do it. Jeremiah Moon came after him. That'll for sure be grounding if they take the penalty. And the Gator pass rush one more time. Came after the pressure. Well, how fit didn't help Williams off to his right. And now it's just a free-for-all. How about the depth that they have in rushing the quarterback? We've seen Grenard all night.